Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial about oil cracking. In this video, we are going to briefly discuss why we want to do oil cracking, go over some of the theory behind how oil cracking works and how to use circuits to make oil cracking uh, a really clean and easy to use process, and then walk you through an oil cracking implementation, uh, both showing off one that is currently existing and uh, then how to step-by-step recreate it. So why do we want to do oil cracking? Well, usually in your factory, you are going to be using more petroleum than you are heavy oil or light oil. And once you get this advanced oil processing recipe, then you are going to be producing all three of those. So once you actually fill up on any of these uh, oils in any of your tanks, then you won't be able to actually keep running uh, production on oil refineries which can end up being a bad thing. Let's say that we end up filling up on light oil. Well, if we are full on light oil, but are out of petroleum, then we're not gonna be able to actually produce anything because this right here is going to be stuck on all the light oil that we've made. We won't be able to actually make any more petroleum. You can in fact sort of see something like this happening right now as we are full up on petroleum in these two tanks and this is currently waiting to produce any more until we've used up enough petroleum. So since petroleum is our main used resource, that's totally fine, but this can become an issue if we run into the same problem with light or heavy oil. So how exactly does oil cracking work? Well, I've thrown together, if I can get it in here, this nice little guide for everyone. It sort of summarizes uh, from a very high level the ideas behind it. Now we do have to use some wires and some circuits in here, but yeah, it's 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 pretty simple stuff. It's just one comparison for each different oil. So uh, hopefully this should be pretty straightforward and simple in addition to sort of making the way that circuits work a little bit more approachable. So we start off over here on the left side by bringing in our oil and running it through the refineries, which you can see right here. And then, once we've got that up and running, we drop all three of those into Petro, into Light, and into Heavy. And then, essentially what we do is, anytime that... So each of these tanks can hold 25,000 units. Anytime that we go above 20,000 units on Heavy or Light, we crack that into the next uh, oil in the chain. So Heavy turns into Light, Light turns into Petro. So if we've got too much Heavy, turn it into light. If we have too much light, turn it into Petro. Petro is our most used one. So we will always be able to continuously produce any of these different resources and essentially always have any of them available. Okay, cool. So how do we go about building this? Well, you know, this stuff over here on the left side, setting up these oil refineries, I'm not going to go over that. That's pretty straightforward. You just bring in water, you bring in Petro, and then you output it or uh, bring in crude oil and then you output it into these different tanks. But, how to set up the cracking? Now that is a good question. So let's just go ahead and drop, let's go ahead and just rebuild this step by step and we can figure it out. So we're going to start off by dropping one of these tanks and then let's just go ahead and hook it up for the sake of an example. Cool. So then we are going to take uh, a pump I'm, uh, I'm hitting Q right here while hovering over this item to select it. We're going to drop that pump down there. Then grab some wire and we are going to wire up the pump to the storage tank. And additionally, we're going to grab a power pole and drop it down here too and wire things up to that as well because if you hover your mouse over power poles, then it will actually show the uh, circuit information that is, or the, the information that is on that circuit. So hovering over here, you can see on the right side that I've got 11K heavy oil as the signal. You can see as well, storage tank, mode of operation is set to read contents. That means that for wires, it's going to just be broadcasting uh, this information, how much heavy oil it has in there to anything that is connected on a wire. So then from there, what we can do is click on this guy, mode of operation, enable, disable, then we want to set a condition for this pump to be enabled. We only want to pump heavy oil to our crackers in the event that heavy oil is, that's the one, above 20,000 units. That's 200,000. That's 20,000. Perfect. Great. Cool. 
And I mean, that's just about it in terms of the logic that is used to control this. So then from there, we can just go ahead and drop down our uh, chemical plants. And it's all running. This is able to crack. Uh, I'm not going to hook this up into the uh, into the actual system because this is redundant right now. I've already got I've already got some machines there. But yeah, as you can see, we just like in that diagram. Just let me bring it up again. Got our oil refinery here on the left, and then got our heavy tank right here. And then, pump, only if heavy is greater than 20k, heavy to light, oil cracking. So, pump, greater than 20k, light oil cracking, and then you can see here, this light oil cracking connects back to the light oil line, which then connects over to the storage tank, and we've got the exact same thing here set up for light oil. Greater than 20k, that means we enable, pump it into here, crack it on open, then drop it into our tanks, our petro tanks, which we then send up to our bus and the rest of our factory for processing. But yeah, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.